right now we'll see the how to call the procedures how to call the procedures now just observing here if we want to call the procedures now we have to use here what callable statement callable statement this is an interface available to the java.sql.star package java.sql.star package by using this callable statement object we can call the procedures we can call the procedures first of all why to go for this procedures if we want to improve the our application performance we have to implementing the one procedure at the database side after that we can call the procedure by using jdbc application so now our requirement is very small and we are going to making the request that request to from front end application to back end application directly now whenever we are asking to the request directly now we are hitting to the directly that database directly that database and whenever we are hitting the directly that database we are going to getting what slow performance in order to overcome that problem in order to overcome that problem now what we have to do we need to implementing the one procedure now we can call that procedure whenever we are calling the procedure internally processor is going to be take care about to call the database table we are not calling to the explicitly so whenever the processor is calling that uh, procedure then automatically performance is going to be given to the more right now if we want to call that procedure then must and should we need to go for here what callable statement callable statement see now this is my database this is my database table this is my database table rdbms under that one table is there for example employee under employee emp id e name e sal dept number hire date etc these many columns are there around 50 columns are there now my requirement is i want to get the employee name employee name this is 1001 the next employee name is what okay raj and okay esal so now here 2000 the next dept number 10th department date of joining 10th 12 2014 like this the next 1002 employee name for example nani the next esal 3000 the next department number 20th joining date so 12th 10 2012 so like this some of the employees are there in sonso organization so now i want to getting the employee names if we want to getting the employee names how to written the query we can written the query like this select 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 e name select e name from from employee from employee where where 
EMP ID is equal to EMP ID is equal to so now here 1002 like this we are written the query whenever we are written the query like this first this total query is going to be hitting the total database the total query is going to be hitting the database after hitting the database now it is going to pick up in the appropriate appropriate value according to our requirement but whenever we are hitting the directly that database it is not a good approach it is not a good approach so now when we are hitting the directly that database then we are going to getting what performance problem in order to overcome that problem according to our requirement we can design the one procedure and we can call that procedure in our application so how to design that procedure okay now just observing here go to the plsql programs and we can design the we can design the procedure like this create or replace create or replace procedure procedure create or replace procedure and the procedure proc1 assume that this is my procedure name under that input value envo in in is represented as okay in parameter so now here number type number type comma comma so now what is the out value now e name so otherwise just i am taking the name here it is represented as out value out value data type is what where care to where care to that's enough the next is is the next begin begin the next select select e name e name into select e name into name e name into name from from employee employee where emp id is equal to EMP ID is equal to ENVO. EMP ID is equal to ENVO. The next end of the PLS program. The next, if we want to compile and edge code, just we can go the forward slash and press the enter button. Then automatically we will get one message. One message processor is created successfully. Processor is created successfully. Successfully. That's enough. Processor is created successfully. Now, our responsibility is to call this processor in our JDBC application. If we want to call this processor in our JDBC application, we have to go for what? Callable statement callable statement how to implementing an application now try to understanding here so now here i am going to importing first of all a scale package import import java dot sql dot SQL dot star package import java dot SQL dot star package the next public class processor demo processor demo the next after that public static 
void main public static void main string string ox then throws exception exception the next after that loading the driver class class dot for name class dot for name under that oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver oracle driver then next after that connection con is equal to connection con is equal to driver manager dot driver manager dot get connection dot get connection under that we have to take what jdbc colon jdbc colon oracle colon tin colon at the rate of local host local host colon 1521 service id xc user name and password durga tech <coughs> the next password durga tech over the next after that callable statement cst is equal to callable statement callable statement cst is equal to con dot prepare call prepare con dot prepare call under that we can take we can take like this flower packets call what is that procedure name proc1 this is the procedure name this is the procedure name then call proc1 how many question marks two question marks one is input parameter one is output parameter this is the way to call the procedure after that cst dot cst dot set int set int 1 comma 1 comma 1002 the next after that after that cst dot cst dot set okay cst dot what we have to do here cst dot registered parameter register parameter register parameter under that 2 comma 2 comma now here types dot types dot where can dot var char types dot var char that's enough registered parameter 2 comma types dot var char the next after that cst dot execute the next after that we need to print a string string your name
string yo name is equal to cst dot cst dot get string get a string of two the next after that system dot out dot print ln employee name employee name plus plus e name then cover close the close the cst object and close the connection object otherwise close the connection object the next after that close the method close the class now we can compile and we can execute so now whenever we want to compile this one java c java c procedure demo demo dot java compilation is done after that execution java procedure demo enter then automatically we will get what output what is the output employee name employee name nani that's enough right now we'll see the now we'll see the practically this example